very, very small challenging issues. There was uh, an issue where they had to change tires at a low stage on the Casel, which was hard from the beginning. And then, and then there was a misunderstanding coming down at the very, very high speed. That, at 330 kilometers an hour, they realized that uh, that if there's a gap, it might close, and uh, that uh, hit uh, the car eight very hard, and uh, and they have a setback. But as you saw, they did a stunning job in the pits at the moment. Yes, it was very impressive. Full about four minutes to change everything, and we're only four hours in. But uh, what's what's your sort of thoughts for the rest of the evening and tonight? Um, I spoke to a few of you before, but obviously it's incredibly content field we have. The whole grid uh, in all classes are incredibly close, and I think uh, it bodes well. And so far, it has been uh, great racing, as we can see. Very, very close race. We can see 17 Porsche at, uh, at K8 trying to come back. Uh, and, uh, you see the most fit field, the most uh, te technology. Feel what we have uh, have seen over the years at Le Mans. I mean, certainly from the tyres point of view, we uh, every manufacturer have had the opportunity to peel and dial the construction and the and the, um, the compounds into exactly how they want them for the strategy about going around this the fastest circuit over 24 hours. So. Uh, at midnight, we'll have a clearer picture. It's very difficult to predict now. Uh, my heart, of course, beats very much for, for Audi, and, and we will keep running very strong towards the end. Thank you. And just to tell us from your point of view, um, nine wins here, and this year you're Grand Marshal. Um, can you tell us what that means, being Grand Marshal? Uh, it gets, that means that I'm an old ex-driver. Obviously, that uh, means I'm a pensionist. And uh, as pensionists are living in uh, a small pensionist house, uh, they seem to find me and have uh, sent me a, a call to come to Le Mans, even though that I'm not driving this year. And uh, I have to say I'm much more relaxed and I enjoy every minute uh, much differently than I would do if I was uh, here as racing. Focus being in the little bubble like the drivers are, focusing on the car, focusing on driving and the team. It's much different. But my role is uh, I'm ambassador of the race, and uh, the race has given me so much over 18 years that I'm absolutely thrilled to be asked to do that. Uh, to drive uh, that parade lap, leading the field in for my last time here to lead the, the field. Uh, was of course something which I uh, was very privileged. It's uh, probably the slowest lap I've ever done here in Le Mans. Uh, but to feel the cars behind me uh, pushing, <laughs> warming up the tires, getting them into the right temperature, warming the brakes, that was very nice to, to see. And nobody was allowed to overtake me. And I have to say, when I went, if you were here seeing it, when I went through the chicane very slowly, it was counting down seven, six, and then he said go. And when he said go, I thought about it. <laughs> but I thought they might not even invite me back. So uh, I went into the pit lane. And what a start it was. The, the race is absolutely uh, phenomenal start. And phenomenal the, the way the race has been so far. 